The storm delivered the promised snow with a vengeance, several feet of snow. Non-stop, the sound of snow plows clearing roads and sidewalks where walking was a struggle even for locals used to it. Visitors working their way to the coveted runs at Snow Summit, where reservations are mandatory and conditions range from great to sometimes pretty blustery. It's really windy with lots of snow falling, and yeah, I can't, it's really foggy too. The most challenging part is visibility, really, so um, you just got to kind of take it slow and know where you're at, try to stay to the center of the run. Um, and check in with your friends. You want to make sure you don't get lost out there. You, you ever run into a tree or almost? Yes. <laughs> so I wear a helmet. Also loving the conditions, the rescued animals at the Big Bear Alpine Zoo, which seemed more than happy to leave their shelters and check out the snow. It's open to visitors within the purple tier COVID state guidelines, and you don't need prior reservations like you do at the ski resorts. Also open the shops, masks and spacing mandatory, but store owners are waiting with open if shoveling arms, clearing paths for visitors. We have to support ourselves from our summer season and our winter season. So we get three to six months of good working a year to support us for the whole year. Very important, even if you have an all-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive, you need to carry chains. Caltrans is saying that when they call for our three conditions, which they do up here, you need to have them with them no matter what. I'm Christina Gonzalez in Big Bear, Fox 11 News.